everyone! So a few months ago I made a video called Recommended Graphic Design Books in which I take you on a tour of my bookshelf. Well since then I've acquired even more books because I mean why would you ever buy anything else when you could be buying books? Let's get started. First up is Just My Type which I actually talked about in the previous video also but at that point I hadn't read it yet and at this point I've read it multiple times. So if you are new to graphic design or you just want a refresher on all of the basics of typography, this is a really fantastic book. It's not dry, it goes between short chapters about specific typefaces into the history of typography and then a lot of modern stuff too. Plus it has the periodic table of typefaces inside and I mean that's just awesome. Next up is a book called Stereographics which the only bad thing I have to say about it is that you get fingerprints all over the black cover so I don't even want to touch it, but unfortunately my books don't float in the air. But the inside of the book. This has really fantastic 3D poster design inspiration. I actually used a lot of inspiration from this book when I was designing the 2012 Tour de Nerd Fighting poster. There's these huge gorgeous photos. I'm seriously just gonna like stand here while I'm filming and just look at it. Next up, Helvetica and the New York City subway system. I have probably read about half of this book just standing in bookstores and I never actually bought it. And so finally, I think it was Christmas or my birthday or something last year, uh, my sister gave it to me as a present. So I now I finally own it and I can hug it. I haven't actually sat down to read every word of the book so far, but one of these days when I actually have free time, which is a thing I seem to be having less and less of. I'll learn all about Helvetica and the New York City subway system and it'll be beautiful. Papercraft! I love Papercraft! This book is seriously like candy, like I just want to sit here and, and eat it because it's so colorful and beautiful. You can see all the tabs that I have from pages that I marked. And this is again one of those books where I can't read more than a little bit at a time because I just become so saturated with inspiration that I need to put it down and go make something. So yes, again, more huge beautiful, colorful candy photos. I'm gonna have to go to the dentist tomorrow because this book is just too much. Now, it is no secret that I love Harry Potter, and so my next two books are about Harry Potter. Oh man, I don't have the arm strength for this. So first up, the slightly cheaper option is Harry Potter Film Wizardry, which actually probably has more graphic design in it. You even get these, like, pull out little booklet things, or there's a Marauder's Map somewhere in here, there's like a Yule Ball invitation. I've said in the past that I would have paid the people who worked on this movie if I could have just sat in the production office, but since that's all over and it doesn't really exist anymore, books like these are the records that we need to keep these beautiful props and designs alive. And if you're in the market to spend a little bit more money, you can get this huge Harry Potter film filmmaker's journey, page to screen, bible sort of thing. This has a lot more production photos, text about how they actually made the movies, a bit less of the actual design, but the pages that they do have with design are just gorgeous. So if you're one of those people who in the fifth movie when they had their transitions with the newspapers, if you're like me and you paused on those sections and just sat there staring at the design, this is the book you need in your life. Okay, now the final book I'm going to show is basically a combination of everything that I love in the world. It was a gift to me by by my friend Robin Schneider. I didn't even know this book existed until like a week ago. A zeal of zebras! Look! Zebras! And, and, that's not even it. That's not even the best part. It, it was made by Mirafora Mina and Eduardo Lima, and they worked on the Harry Potter movies. Like, they're the ones that did all of the graphic design for the Harry Potter movies, and now they made this children's book. Look at these illustrations, it is gorgeous. I'm so thankful to Robin for one, letting me know it exists, and two, like, giving it to me to be in my possession. So yes, while it's not like a fancy graphic designer's 2,000 years of typography history, it has so much colorful inspiration and fun illustrations. Very highly recommended. As always, there are links to where you can buy all of these books in the description below. None of the people who had any part in making those books gave me anything to talk about them in a video, I just really love them. Although, if you are a graphic design bookmaker and you want to send me free stuff, I mean, send me an email. So I'll probably do another one of these a few months from now. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions of really awesome art and design books that you think would find a good home in my library. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't seen part one of this video, 
video series, you can go ahead and watch it right here. If you want to see me in a video that I made for my friend Gunnarola, in which I may have made out with Comic Sans, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you want to see my friend Keith and I fail at making chocolate cauldrons, you can go ahead and click right here. So much to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.